Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like marching onto this stage. Give another hand to the London Citadel Timberless. <laughs> We're blessed by your attendance this evening in this worship concert. It's a joy to share this evening with the London Citadel Timberless, but it is a great blessing to be in the presence of the risen Christ to bring him honor and glory through the gift of creative energy and drama through the praise of timbrels, as well as great expressions of music. In just a moment, the New York Staff Band is going to be presenting Reflections on When Morning Gilds the Sky. It's written by Gregory Pascuzzi. He reached back into the 19th century to the work of Joseph Barnaby. It's a beautiful testimony, and an elegant member of the New York Staff Band is going to come and share this as a solo. He is Derek Lance. He's a man who's the Corps Sergeant Major of his respective Corps. Then following that, New York Staff Band will be presenting a new work from UK's very own Martin Cordner, written exclusively for our tour that we were blessed to be on just a few days before the International Congress that we find ourselves in this evening. It takes us back to the early part of the formation of America. You're going to hear some interesting sounds uh, singing from the band as they share in different Indian dialects, including Cherokee, Apache, and Chippewa, different words all meaning the same thing, which is peace. It's a two-work movement, and at the conclusion of this beautiful piece, you'll hear two different tunes, How Firm a Foundation, and then finally you'll hear Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Let's encourage Derek as he comes and presents reflections on when morning gilds the sky.
Hello? Ah, that's good. After Steve Cobb this afternoon, I was a little reluctant to grab a microphone. It's not on the script, but it's good to see everybody. And uh, isn't that a great Timberl brigade? How many of you are Timberlists out here? All right, good. There'll be no Timberl jokes then. We have a lot of, you know, bandsmen just absolutely love playing for Timberls. Particularly a group like this from London Citadel. Give them another hand. That's fabulous. I've had funny experiences this week with people staring at me, and I kind of think, you know, what's that about? I was in a restaurant tonight, and a guy came up. I know who you are. I said, am I in trouble? You know, what is that? <laughs> so um, anyway, he said, I have those DVDs from ISB 120, and I watch that all the time. But is that guy going to do that thing with his tunic tonight? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. So I said, absolutely not. We're so sick of that. We're just not doing that. But um, we do have a piece that uh, you never know what could happen. This is, uh, there's some American music coming tonight because this is Independence Day for America. <laughs> and it's a wonderful thing that the country that we broke free from is our staunchest and strongest ally today. So all Brits, give yourselves a cheer as well. All right, this is a piece uh, that comes from America, and it's uh, kind of jazzy in a brass bandy way. It's called La Fiesta.
Can you say, wow? It's been an amazing evening of praise and honor and glory for the Lord Jesus Christ. And thank you for the gift of your enthusiasm, your rich sources of great encouragement. If you'd like the concert this evening, we invite you to uh, support the New York Staff Band on Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter at NYSB1887. If you've enjoyed the concert this evening, like us on Facebook at NYSB1887. And if you really love the concert, as we've been pleased to share this evening with the London Citadel Timberless, we'd be very grateful for your prayer support. And tonight, if you came, and for some reason, it wasn't what you really liked so much about, particularly from the New York staff band, well, come to New York in the fall and we'll do better. <laughs> in just a moment, the New York staff band is going to present a work from Paul Lovett Cooper. It's entitled Power and the Glory. It is an incredible piece of music that is explosive, that is compelling, and generates in every believer a great promise from the Lord Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, is Paul's mom here this evening? Would you please stand up? We want to bless you. God bless you, ma'am. For every believer knows this truth, all hail the power of Jesus' name, for it is that name that we find redemption, salvation, and strength, and we find it at the mercy seat. Here is power and the glory under the beautiful leadership of Bandmaster Ronald Wakes Norris and the New York Staff Band.
Just starting to think it's a pity that uh, Boundless 2015 has to end. Tomorrow we'll have a wonderful worship time, but we've been worshiping all week, and it's just been fantastic. I mentioned earlier that the 4th of July is Independence Day, and in the United States tonight there'll be all sorts of fireworks and uh, concerts and all sorts of things to celebrate. Uh, but we know that... When we bring 126 countries together, that uh, everything isn't rosy for everybody. And uh, it's been wonderful for us to meet people from everywhere. And uh, we all need to uh, think about praying for each other and praying for this great army. But just now, please let us indulge our jingoistic American. You know us Americans. You know, we, we are who you think we are in a lot of ways. We're way more complicated than you know, but we're gonna play the Stars and Stripes forever. And if at some point the Americans would like to stand up and wave whatever you have in your pocket, that would be okay. And anyone else that wants to do that, and this is a special arrangement by Dorothy Gates, and I need to make sure we recognize her. And we are trying to honor our time commitments here, so after that, we'd like to sing for you Rock of Ages, and then we'll see you in the morning. God bless you. Thanks for coming.
Good night and God bless you.